Okay, folks, we're going to go ahead and do one more mini series of the Bucephalus Mine Part 2 series uh, how to send and receive Ethereum from a personal Coinbase account uh, to the Trezor wallet we just set up. And if you could please follow me into the next transition, we will begin how to um, send the Ethereum from the personal Coinbase account. Okay, folks, uh, let's do a quick recap of what we did uh, before this transition. Um, I, we have the Trezor wallet, we've set it up. I'm going to start again from the beginning. I'm gonna plug this into the back of my iMac and go to https wallet.trezor.io. I presume if many of you are following this or watching this YouTube, you're at least considering a Coinbase account or already have a personal Coinbase account. Uh, I've got a company Coinbase account and with one of the GDAX and a couple other ones throughout the exchanges out there. But anyway, I do have a personal Coinbase account. I've already signed up for one. It's very straightforward to do this. It's like PayPal. If you ever set it up like an account with PayPal or Venmo, there is like a authentication deposit you verify on your account over at your bank, wherever it is. I've got a local one that I set up here that really I've got under a thousand dollars. So hackers feel free to hack away. Chances are you get in trouble and you really won't find much in this little local um, play around account that I have. But anyway, um, that's a savings account you can connect, um, you know, as it were um, with PayPal or Venmo, you can do the same thing with Coinbase. So anyway, uh, long story short here, I'm gonna go ahead and plug the Trezor into the back of my iMac. And then I'm gonna to go to that wallet.trezor.io in the right window over here. I'm gonna enter in the corresponding pin that I've assigned to this and we that we did with y'all as well. Um, so in this case, it's going to be accordingly for me. It'll be different for you. Okay, and I should be signed in now. So um, we're gonna go ahead and select the drop down menu from the Trezor. This is again a local client that's interacting with the device here. Uh, I'm gonna select Ethereum. Then we're gonna go to my Ether wallet that's connecting there by API with the local device we have here, the Trezor. So let's go ahead and exit out of this. I'm gonna select Trezor. I'm gonna select connect Trezor. And I'm gonna export the public keys assigned from the Trezor device to the Trezor hard wallet. And then same deal, I'm gonna select um, the same uh, default derivation path, just leave it at the top left corner there, Trezor, it says it there is indicated. And then I'm gonna select the top address that I've uh, been interacting with for the intents and purposes of this tutorial. That's gonna be this one, this hex key here. I'm gonna go ahead and select that, and it's gonna be different for you, remember that. Uh, but it's still going to be the default top one, the first one. I'm going to go ahead and hit unlock your wallet. And there we go. Now, I've already sent one Ethereum over, and I believe it took um, three minutes and uh, about 55 seconds or five seconds, whichever. But anyway, under four minutes um, earlier today from my uh, Binance trading account um, to Coinbase and then over to my personal Trezor. Uh, Again, I wanted to test to make sure everything was, uh, you know, clicking and working just fine for this tutorial, and it did. So anyway, I reloaded the personal Coinbase from my Binance account, um, as you can see here, uh, and we're going to do the same thing here. I'm going to send one Ether, uh, one Ethereum, over from my Coinbase account, my personal Coinbase account, over to the Trezor wallet that we've configured, the local device here. So anyway, this can only, that address here can only receive so I'm gonna go ahead and copy and paste that. And this is very important to note because when you're in this um, client, you can only send from my Ether wallet. So I have that that hex key, even that, you know the one we selected from that um, that radio button menu. Anyway, this account address right here, it can only send, or I'm sorry, it can only receive, it can only receive Ether. So it's very important to note. I'm gonna go ahead and edit and copy for the sake of clarity, edit copy. And then I'm gonna go to the Ether wallet and the Coinbase app over here, okay? I'm gonna click on that, and then I'm gonna hit send. I'm gonna hit send over here. Okay, that's very important to note. We're gonna send funds from the Ethereum over to my my Ether wallet that's connected to my, um, my NAN, my, I'm sorry, my, my ledger, my, my, I'm sorry, my Trezor. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit send. We're gonna take that recipient address over here. I'm gonna click, I'm gonna paste it over. I'm gonna control V in my case. So there, there it is. Let's court, let's make sure that's the right one. Zero six eight. You can just kind of eyeball this, but it's um, it's pretty 
where we can be pretty sure that that's correct. Unless you've been copying, pasting addresses all day, which I have not been, but I want to make sure that's correct. So the last three, four digits are four, two, two. So anyway, that's checking out as a, it checks out as a um, appropriate or uh, possible um, legitimate Ethereum address. So we're going to go ahead and hit, um, I'm going to hit the max. I'm going to see if I can go ahead and hit, let's just do 1.18. Let's just hit max. Uh, and there is a, what? Should be more than that. But I have more than that. Oh boy. Okay, I know what I did wrong. I'm gonna go ahead and set that again. Sorry, it's getting late over here, folks. All right, Bicephalus Toot. All right, so we should be covered here. I'm gonna hit continue and we should be good to go. I'm gonna hit continue. All right, then it's gonna ask me to verify for two factor authentication, which I've assigned, which hopefully you all have done as well. And I believe in this case, it's going to be All right, so it's on its way. And again, I clocked it over as about four to five minutes. Um, so that's how long it should take. Uh, I will probably just pause or maybe fast forward um, upon confirmation of receipt in the My Ether Wallet. And then what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna send it um, from this account, from My Ether Wallet. We're gonna just go do everything in reverse. I'm gonna send it from my ether wallet back to my personal Coinbase account just to kind of get the, uh, for the sake of thoroughness there. So bear with me here. I will be back here momentarily, folks. All right, folks, what I want to do now is go forward in reverse here. So I'm going to take the Trezor one more time. I'm going to plug it back into my iMac here. Okay, and then we're going to pull up that wallet.trezor.io address like we've done before. And then I'm going to enter in the corresponding password, how it's situated in the layout. Again, this will be different for you all, but not for me here. I'm going to enter in my own. And let's go. Okay, it is retrieving the information stored on my local Trezor. I'm going to select Ethereum from the top left of that drop down up there. You can see we're going to click on the go to my Ethereum wallet or my Ether wallet. Pardon me. Okay. And then I'm going to hit okay. And then again, as we've done before, I'm going to hit Trezor. Boom. Connect to Trezor. Excellent. I'm going to hit the export the public keys like we've done before. All the same thing. Okay. So I'm going to select the top address. And again, we're going to use this later, that same address for the mining. Uh, configuration in this part two for the ethos but we're going to go ahead and select the top one this will be different for you remember this is, this is your hex key it'll be different but it's going to be the same one you'll be referencing that first top one will be the same for you but it'll be different for me so anyway we're just going to select this top hex key just, that's what you want to select unlock your wallet okay all right so now you can only the great thing about that once you have that hex key you can only send money to it but when you access this the my ether wallet you can only send money from this account so when you're at when you're at this point you can only send money to it so this is the good thing here so now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the coinbase account my personal account here or whatever account you've set up i'm going to select the my ether wallet but i'm going to make sure that i hit that receive button i'm going to hit receive only see and as it says over here in coinbase only send ether to this address so i'm going to show address and then i'm going to copy and paste it copy and paste then i'm going to click right paste or hit Control v and it's going to copy and paste so we're going to send as much ethereum as we can to this account i'm going to send 2.1 ether to my coinbase i'm going to send it back again we're kind of going back to the future here so uh we're going to go ahead and generate transaction okay
Okay, and it says check recipient address on your device and follow the instructions. So I'm gonna check that Tracer Wallace, that device. It's plugged into my computer still, or my iMac, but I'm gonna reference it. It's gonna say, um, send, there's a question, send 2.1 ETH to that address. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit confirm. I'm confident that I entered in that address correctly, but you can probably just double check by looking at the first three of that hex key. It says 0x6 in my case and it's matching that wallet that I have here on my wallet. It's a 0x6, and the last three digits on this hex key are five, or I'm sorry, 89A, and they match over here. So I'm gonna hit confirm, the right key, hit confirm. And then it says, really send it? I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna really send it. Confirmed, okay. Now we're in the My Ether wallet, and it's gonna ask me to do the same thing. Again, redundancy, triple checking here. It's great for OCD folks like myself. So um, this is the third time. I'm gonna go ahead and say, yes, send the transaction here. We're gonna send it. Boom, done. And it's gonna say it one more time. You're about to send it, are you sure? You sure you wanna send this, Alex? I'm gonna say, yes, I'm sure. Yes, I am sure, make the transaction happen. And again, I said this took about three minutes and five seconds. That was the elapsed time that occurred from my Binance trading account to um, the uh, Ether, um, I'm sorry, to my Coinbase account. Three minutes, five seconds. So we'll see what how long it takes here. It's now 11.56 a.m. Uh, Central Time. And I'm going to make sure I go here. Your transaction has been broadcast at network. So boom, we go verify transaction or check transaction status. Uh, we can do that over here. I think it'll point us to that... Um, to the my ether wallet block explorer so they're unable to track the hash this time but what we'll do here we can immediately check transaction status see what that does pull up another window i'm gonna hit x again that pulls out the block explorer there we can just keep checking it so again this is all this is all open source software folks this is the future i mean it really is no other third parties or middlemen no banks um were needed to make this happen uh, this is just the Ethereum network. Okay, Coinbase, they've confirmed it. We've just received 2.1 Ether in my wallet. That is one minute, folks. Less than one minute we have sent, we have potentially sent um, my Ether wallet, um, my, my Ether wallet, uh, Ether, that the money effectively in that account, um, all the way around the world through the mining devices, probably down in my basement right now, my interim Bucephalus dev stable, to make that transaction happen. And now it's over in my Coinbase account. Um, which is wonderful. We're gonna go ahead and reload this, refresh the window, see if it pops up. So there's a little bit of a lag, but as you can see, it'll still process, it'll, it's indicating, but you saw at Coinbase, there's a flag message from my email I set up there. It said it's arrived. So anyway, that's it. That's wrapping up this, uh, how to send um, send and receive Ethereum from a Trezor wallet, or sorry, from a Coinbase account to a Trezor wallet. And um, I might break it down a little bit later, maybe um, after this, uh, the third part of this series release um, in a few weeks, uh, maybe how to set up a Coinbase account. Again, it's very straightforward, just like PayPal or Venmo, but um, we'll talk about more of it. And again, I'm considering doing a weekly podcast. Uh, I seem to be one of the you know emerging thought leaders out there within uh, cryptocurrencies. So I've got a background in banking, about five years in banking. And I'm also a software engineer. Um, just finished out my last semester at uh, GW. Uh, pursuing a master of science in information systems technology so this is the future folks uh, i really want you to get started on and if you could please and uh yeah we'll uh, we'll continue to do it up into the future thank you for joining me and uh, hope to see you all around soon thank you